I wanted to take a few moments and introduce you to Melodic Motion Etude number 36. This features what I think of as the useful intervals to begin mapping, particularly a major key position with the root on the sixth string. So we're going to look at some options here and hope this is something that might be of interest. Of course, these could be minor key sounds if we lower the thirds. I might show some of that. If you've not yet done so, please do subscribe to the channel. Like, share, and leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. I appreciate it very much. If you'd like to leave me a tip, that would be very nice indeed. And my PayPal information is there in the description below. So, intervals in D major. So how about we start with a fifth. Root and fifth, this is the tenth and twelfth fret of the sixth and fifth strings. So very solid interval, perfect interval. How about we walk the upper line from 12. I'm using, by the way, little finger, second finger, so I have some room to move. Second finger, fourth finger, 10 and 12. Then 9, 11. And we're going to come up to D here with the first inversion, F sharp in the bass. How about we walk up further? So this was 9 and 12, F sharp and D, and with a bar, we can get the E there on the 9th fret. And we can come up to the 11th fret, F sharp, we put a D back in the bass. Could also have A in the bass, 12th fret. We won't, well, I don't think we want doubled F sharps. The reason for being careful about doubling is things get really empty sounding very quickly, particularly thirds. In this case, one, two, three, third scale degree needs something else, either the root or the, the fifth. That would be A to F sharp, 12 to 11. How about we continue from there? So here's D and F sharp, 10 and 11. Walking up to G, 12. I'm getting the A note, 10th fret of the second string with my third finger and bringing the first inversion bass behind it. So, so far our bass has been walking back and forth between the root and the third, which is a great way to say D major. So now I just walked up from F sharp and A, 9 and 10, to 12, to 9 on the first string. You could bar it if you want. And now, how about fifth in the bass with root in the melody? So this is 12 and 10, A and D. We could come down, 9. 12th fret of the second string. And how about a fifth here? This is D and A, 12 and 10. And here it's really solid. It's the sound of bagpipes. It's the sound of the tampura in Indian music. So D and A, how about we put G, 12th fret, third string, and then 11th fret F sharp, third string, and hit that A afterwards. So now we have, again, fifth in the bass and third in the melody. So now here we are, A and F sharp down to nine. Could go to 12th fret so we have an A and a D right next to each other interval of a fourth we can drop the bass down to F sharp ninth fret we come back down so 
So F sharp and D again, 9 and 12, 11, 9, 12th fret, 5th string, and root, 10th fret, D. So what did we have all together? I think we went to big D there. point out some other ones quickly. Just straight chord tone pairs. D and F sharp, 12 and 14. A and D, 12 and 15. F sharp and A, the third and the fifth, 14th fret. D and F sharp, 10 and 11, the root and the third. sounds. I've posted Melodic Motion Etude number 36 a little earlier in the series, so you'll see it there. I'll put a link to it, but it's more or less the same things I've just laid out here with more discussion. I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music, finding new sounds that make you want to play more and enjoying the luxury that playing gives us of just taking a break and having quiet time and developing a real close relationship with the instrument and with our understanding of it and our understanding and how we experience music. It's a great gift. It's a great joy. So I hope that's your experience as well. I look forward to hearing from you and I wish you as always a very good day.